Hey, this morning's Coffee With us with Jennifer Page and Dr. David Ferry. And a satellite interview is furnished by the St. Jude Medical and the nonprofit Mended Little Hearts. Jennifer Page, Dr. David Ferry, welcome to WJZ. How are you? Great, thank we you. We are well. How are you? We're doing well. Jennifer, we welcome your son, Max, to WJZ all the time on The Young and the Restless. He's, uh, let, me just, let me just bring <laughs> you. The, do. Yeah, let me just bring the audience in line. If you don't watch the daytime dramas, you'll recognize Max from the second greatest Super Bowl commercial in history. A little kid that's Darth Vader, and he keeps trying to zap people, and finally he zaps the car. Dad's in there and hits the key fob, and the car lights up. A little kid almost strokes out. It's a great one, and uh, <laughs> we're glad to hear that Max is doing pretty well. You and Dr. David, bring the folks inside the ropes as, as to what's going on with his heart and other kids. Take it away. Oh, thanks for having us. Um, yeah, Max was born with a congenital heart defect called Tetralogy of Fallot. And so one thing that being Reed Hellstrom on The Young and the Restless or this commercial have done is, is really help us have a platform to shed some light on congenital heart defects and how common they are, which I'll let Dr. Ferry talk about. But one thing we're super excited about is a partnership with Mended Little Hearts and St. Jude Medical, uh, the global device manufacturing company that makes Max's pacemaker and his artificial valve. They're joining forces to provide an online resource for, for families like me, that when you get thrown into this diagnosis, what questions do you ask? Where do you turn for support? What are the resources available for you? And they're putting together a very comprehensive um, online resource for us, which is just something this community has needed for a very long time. So we're thrilled with hey, that uh, partnership. That, that, that it's, it's a very important deal. Now, now, Dr. David, I want to bring you in here. First off, the name of Max's problem is really it's confusing. It, I mean, it's not confusing. It's really bizarre. Tetralogy of Fallow? Yes, that's the name. It's named after Dr. Fallow, who I think was in France probably a couple hundred years ago. And it's, it basically consists of a heart of, of, of a hole between the two lower chambers, as well as a narrowing to the valve to his lungs so that blood doesn't get over to the lungs and therefore the okay. blue blood goes to the body and many times babies are blue with that. It's the most common cause of a blue baby, uh, if, you'll, if you've heard that term before. Sure, but he's going to be so, okay, yeah? And Oh, he is okay. He's great. I mean, you know, about 40,000 babies a year are born with congenital heart disease and about, that's 100 a day. So in the Baltimore, Washington area, you've got babies born every day with heart problems and about half of those that are born with heart problems are going to need a heart surgery intervention and many times several like Max has had. So our concern is to get the word out there, as Jennifer said, and partnering St. Jude Medical, which is the global device manufacturer, along with uh, Mending Little Hearts is going to be able to provide the parents with a great resource at sjm.com slash weheartkids to uh, allow them for, uh, to get in information on the internet from a reliable source. Okay, now, you know, we're going to assume that the vast majority of folks watching have a pediatrician, but we also know we live in 2015 may really not be the case. What would a tip off be to a parent watching that they may need to hit this resource and ask questions? Well, I think that, uh, you know, first of all, if they see symptoms in their child that are worrisome, like a blue color, not feeding well, not eating well, not gaining weight, naturally going to their pediatrician, as you mentioned, or general practitioner, but, you know, you don't think of it at the time. You're in there in the exam room, you can't think of all the questions to ask the doctor, then, or you, on the drive home, you, you say, oh, how come we didn't ask this? So this is a great place, a great website to go to, to okay. have some other of your questions answered in a more comfortable time for you, and then maybe to go back to the doctor with other questions that may have come okay. up from your, from your reading. So I think it's a great opportunity. Give us, hit us with the website one more time and then I got a question to ask you mom because I, something I just got to know what's the website again it's sjm.com slash we heart kids w-e-h-e-a-r-t kids cool all right hey, and, listen, we and got, uh, that's it we got about 30 seconds left Jennifer I, I, I just need to know something as a parent a lot of parents watch okay and your son's a dynamite little guy but every once in a while kids get on our nerves <laughs> Have you ever looked at him and said, all right, Darth, get your rear end upstairs and get in the bath? Or, hey, Darth, sit down oh, and yeah. eat your no, dinner? No, he's disciplined like everybody else. <laughs> Everyone assumes, like, you would just give the kid the ultimate hall pass, but not the case. But if you ever, <laughs> not the case for us. But Max you, is a, but you a ever great kid, him and we Darth. live a very normal life. But if you ever called him Darth, just <laughs> Calling him Darth? Yeah. 
I don't call him Darth, and he doesn't put the force on me, so we're, we're pretty good. <laughs> okay. Hey, listen, thanks so much for being with us, and uh, that's great info. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank All you right. very much. Out of sight. All right.